Hi guys and welcome to Get G Reviews. Uh, sorry that I haven't been around these days, but I'm back and I'm ready to bring you the latest reviews. So first up is the Lone Ranger. One good man must wear a mask. starring Johnny Depp and Ernie Hammer and as I said if you watch my um, judging by the trailer show uh, I said that um, maybe I'm going to see it or maybe I'm not going to see the movie uh, and if I'm going to see it I will probably go uh, because there is nothing better uh, to see at the movies at this time and that is how it actually happened so I went and saw the Long Ranger. So here are my thoughts. I'm going to start with um, uh, Army Hammer's character, uh, who is a man of the law, and he tries to um, keep everything uh, right. He he's trying to do everything by the law and doesn't like shooting people, but at the same time he's very good with the gun. Uh, but uh, fate. Um, but uh, apparently his destiny is different than what than what uh, than what he thinks, and he becomes the Long Ranger. Uh, that uh, well, that by definition is a, a Shadow Walker, a guy who can be killed in battle. He and Johnny Depp's character, the Indian Tantu, uh, start to to seek out the bad guys and bring them to justice because they both have a common goal and they both want to take down the same guy or guys so I'm going to do this a non-spoiler review uh, so let's continue uh, the most important characters of the story are of course the Lone Ranger and Tantu the Indian that Johnny Depp plays and as many uh, have speculated and talked about this uh, Johnny Depp once again plays uh, Jack Sparrow <laughs> well um, Tantu is uh, pretty funny and he actually is the star of the movie he's not the Lone Ranger, it's Tantu Tantu is the, the cleverest, uh, the best, the humor is awesome and he is the only reason probably that I uh, almost loved this movie so um, Johnny Depp did an amazing job, the humor of the film was perfect and even Helena Bonham Carter, which I don't prefer as I said before in judging by the trailer uh, the two of them to be back together in many many movies uh, again and again uh, she was actually spot on as Johnny Depp was both did super well and they actually were perfect for this role so I don't mind uh, them. The comedy of the film was super cool, as I said super funny, I laughed almost the whole time uh, especially when Johnny Depp was on screen uh, Army Hammer character uh, wasn't that special, he actually was uh, he was just uh, learning to be uh, the Lone Ranger and to shoot people uh, and that uh, was against his uh, nature so he was um, he, he was not very uh, good or great most of the time uh, he became uh, he became better at uh, the end of the movie and uh, he has he just had to become a man at some point um, uh, but definitely Johnny Depp's, uh, Johnny Depp's character made the whole movie and he easily could uh, have his own movie. So, so what I have to mention definitely here is the violence of the movie. Many people talked about this violence, oh it's a Disney movie, oh why there is so much violence in the movie. Uh, well, I mean the point is not that the movie is a Disney movie. Um, the point is that that is a movie. Disney. Uh, can make whatever movie they like uh, it is not, and it doesn't have to be always 
for children. Uh, but uh, what I didn't like about this movie and what uh, ruined uh, the movie for me uh, in terms of uh, whether or not I want to watch this again when it comes out on Blu-ray is uh, mostly uh, some scenes, some specific scenes in the, mo uh, in the movie which were very very um, very very gross and um, although they didn't show all, uh, they didn't show everything uh, directly uh, they make, they made sure that uh, you will remember that and that you will know exactly what and how it, it's happening so it's not very it, it's not pleasant and there um, and I'm not going to spoil it for you but they uh, there was a um, scene that is kind of a, uh, a key scene in the movie one of the key you can say scenes in the movie uh, where the bad guy does something and the way uh, they show they showed how he did that uh, was uh, uh, as censored as possible but although as I said um, you definitely know what is happening uh, so for, for me that scene uh, uh, kind of stuck into my head and I re I will remembered it through the whole movie as watching the movie uh, that scene popped up into my head and that was that wasn't very pleasant uh, so if I ever see a mo see the movie and I I do want to see it again because of the humor and Johnny Depp's performance uh, and the overall look and feel of the movie uh, also is something that uh, I love but um, uh, exactly for these specific scenes and that specific scene uh, I will probably skip those scenes when I watch the movie and that is what I don't want in a movie to have scenes that I uh, that are so unpleasant and or so boring or so so stupid or something like that that uh, uh, you will actually want to skip this with your player, for instance. And that is what and that is what I don't want in a movie that makes a movie unperfect. Uh, not that every movie is perfect, uh, but uh, there are movies uh, that I will watch again uh, and again. Um, that are not that perfect and I would want to see every single scene like Monosteel for instance I don't want to skip uh, anything from this movie so that is telling a lot about a movie the overall I give uh, The Long Ranger a 7.5 out of 10 and I don't uh, actually recommend it to see it on the big screen um, it's not a must see on the big screen you can definitely wait for the blu-ray the movie is good, it's very very entertaining uh, it's very cool on the, on the big screen to see it but it's not one of those films that is absolutely necessary to see it on the big screen like uh, like Man of Steel or, uh, and I don't want to say Avatar, but uh, although those movies are different, the thing that they have in common is exactly that the both movies are, are exactly for the big screen. Uh, if you see them uh, at home, uh, the effect will not be uh, the same. Uh, so uh, the Lone Ranger uh, was not uh, that kind of movie. I can say that it's forgettable. It's definitely not uh, not forgettable movie and it's definitely above average what I forgot to say is that if you see the movie in 2D will be absolutely the best decision if you're going to see it in movies still uh, it's best to see it in 2D if you, if you have this possibility fortunately for me the movie was only playing in 2D in most of the theaters here so I was lucky enough to see it in 2D because most of the time they force you to watch it in 3D and there is no 2D uh, versions uh, of the movies of the most 3D movies here so but this time I saw it on 2D and I was very very pleased because I could see everything well that's it for this review guys um, stay tuned for my next review of uh, Pacific Rim and The Heat uh, maybe I will do a Deadpool review I know that it's kinda late for this but uh, if you still uh, if you still want to see a Deadpool review 
for me I'll make sure to do all that as well so stay tuned subscribe if you like and see you soon